discovering possibilities and potential with passion every day. This is a TPPN production. This is God's Word, read by Tim Chatton. Genesis chapter 11. At one time, all the people of the world spoke the same language and used the same words. As the people migrated to the east, they found a plain in the land of Babylonia and settled there. They began saying to each other, let's make bricks and harden them with fire. In this region, bricks were used instead of stone, and tar was used for mortar. Then they said, come, let's build a great city for ourselves with a tower that reaches into the sky. This will make us famous and keep us from being scattered all over the world. But the Lord came down to look at the city and the tower the people were building. Look, he said, the people are united and they speak all the same language. After this, nothing they set out to do will be impossible for them. Come, let's go down and confuse the people with different languages. Then they won't be able to understand each other. And that way, the Lord scattered them all over the world and they stopped building the city. That is why the city was called Babel, because that is where the Lord confused the people with different languages. In this way, he scattered them all over the world. This is the account of Shem's family. Two years after the great flood, when Shem was a hundred years old, he became the father of Achshad. After the birth of Achshad, Shem lived another 500 years and had an other sons and daughters. When Oxhan was 35 years old, he became the father of Shelah. After the birth of Shelah, Oxhan lived another 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah was 30 years old, he became the father of Eber. After the birth of Eber, Shelah lived another 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber was 34 years old, he became the father of Helig. After the birth of Helig, Eber lived another 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Helig was 30 years old, he became the father of Rau. After the birth of Rau, Helig lived another 209 years and had other sons and daughters. When Rau was 32 years old, he became the father of Sarag. After the birth of Sarag, Ryu lived another 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sirug was 30 years old, he became the father of Nahar. After the birth of Nahar, Sirug lived another 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahar was 29 years old, he became the father of Tira. After the birth of Tira, Nahor lived another 119 years and had other sons and daughters. After Tira was 70 years old, he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. This is the account of Tira's family. Tira was father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran was the father of Lot. But Haran died in Ur of the Chaldeans and the land of his birth, while his father Tihar was still living. Meanwhile, Abram and Nahor both married. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcai. Milcai and her sister Izcah were daughters of Nahor's brother Haran. But Sarai was unable to become pregnant and had no children. One day, Terai took his son, Abram, his daughter-in-law, Sarai, his son, Abram's wife, and his grandson, Lot, his son, Haran's child, and moved away from Ur of the Chalredans. He was headed for the land of Canaan, but they stopped at Haran and settled there. Terah lived for 205 years and died while still in Haran. If you would like to leave feedback, you can do that by going and emailing me at thepossiblesnetwork at gmail.com. More information about this podcast and other podcasts can be found at tppn.tv. And until next time, this is Tim Chatton of the 
Possibilities Production Network. And you've been listening to God's Word.